Last time. Mm, shoot, shoot. Okay, well, this time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Let's go. We're starting on the snow, the snow mission. Look at that. It's no way out here. Mm hmm. Look around. Turn on. Hostile. Okay. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. Hmm. We have just learned that the USS Iowa, a destroyer class destination. These people we're going to see is reported to have disappeared. How do you know about them? Overheard androids that got captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. Mm -hmm. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? Yeah. All I know is those androids believe it. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees uh, far below seasonal averages. Uh, and this cold front is like... Can I talk to Alice or no? No. Okay. Talk to Luther still? Weather. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's slowing us down. True. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Fair, yeah. Malfunction oh, detected. malfunction. Emergency brakes activated. What was the malfunction? This doesn't look good. Nope. Stay inside, Alice. Exit. At least close the door or not. Hmm. What are we going to do? Did it overheat, I guess? Maybe? No. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Kara. Kara. My shelter. There's an arrow literally right there. Let's figure out what this arrow points to. Because, I mean, you can't get any obvious than a friggin' green arrow. <laughs> now, let's be real. Ooh, footprints in the snow. Look at that. I like it. Pirate's Cove. Let's go there. Over there. Oh yeah. How'd I get a flashlight? Pirate's cool. Got the got the squeed. The Kraken. Skeletons. We need to find shelter. Need to find we shelter. Have to get out of the cold. Gotta get out of the cold. What's this? Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Ooh. What does it say? There's a tavern. That's usually a good place. It literally says tavern, so that's probably where we're gonna have to go. I mean, the ki you can't make it any more obvious. Like, <laughs> you just can't. Let's go, we're going this way. Clearly it wants us to go to the tavern. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to find along the way? I'm supposed to look at stuff, I guess. I don't really want to, but I guess I should. Find anything? No. No. No place we could spend the night. Oh, okay. Well let's just go to the tavern. Yeah, let's just go to the tavern. I was gonna unlock like clues or something, but it's not gonna do that. I'm stuck. There we go. Let's go. Go to the tavern. Um, what's this? Random skeleton. This place is falling apart. Uh, here we go. Easy to find shelter. Literally right here. I just found it. Now how do I get it over here somewhere? Examine. Look safe inside. 
Yes, it does. Let's get on in there. What do I get in? No scary noises. This is weird. Okay. Chillax. Enter. Rip off. Okay. Let the big guy do it. Yeah, let the big guy do it. Kick it. Oh, he's not going to kick it. He's going to just kick it in one hit. There you go. Rip it off. Get in there. Now is he going to kick it? Ah, yep, now he did. There we go. Hey, there we go. Wonder why I was abandoned. I don't think we'll find anything better. Nope. There's a fire pit. Let's settle in for the night. Yep. I'll get the fire going. Yep. In the fire pit. Put the fire in the fire pit. I swear to God. U.S. Iowa missing. Rip. Hmm. Look. Okay. Nothing to see here, I guess. A take. Random piece of cloth, it looks like. Oh, a pillow. Look at that. Take. Something for her. I'm going to have to just bring it over there because I'm... My hands are full now. <laughs> Rip. Look what I found. I'll Wait. make the fire here. Okay, that I'm going to... we won't be smoked out. I'm going to set up the bed. There we Alice. go. It's behind you. Looking at whatever the heck that is. Don't worry about that. Let's go this way. There's something over here I want us to look at. Something on the floor right here. Take. Whoops. Take. Pirate's Cove. Welcome. Hmm. Family thing? I don't know. Okay. Let's go over here. Nah, that's the book, isn't it? That's the book. We don't need the book. There is something over here. Backpack. Check gun. Okay. It's a gun. It's a weapon. Oh my god. Put it back. There we go. Done. Okay. Let's leave. <laughs> hmm. Look at that. Alice is warm. That's good. Do you think we'll be like them someday? No. No, we're screwed. Damn it. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. Mm-hmm. Maybe. We're together. That's all that matters. Fair. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Get in the bed. Get the heck over to bed. Lock to Alice. Okay. There's something locked. I don't know what it is. Can I talk to you? No, you're just kind of just chilling. You know, you're just doing your own thing. Alrighty. Hello? Controls? There we go. I don't think that part's big enough, but whatever. Ah, uh, tomorrow. Get some rest. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Can you tell me a story, Kara? No. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. No, you don't. I should have one for you. Do a night. This is a story about a night who No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. <sighs> Good luck. This is a story about a little girl. Alone. Who lived alone in a big old house. 
She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Shadow. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Mm-hmm. Then, she met a robot. A robot. Obedient. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. Mm -hmm. So they decided to run away together. Shadow. To escape the shadow that haunted that house. Mm -hmm. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... Brave. They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... A guardian. A robot. What? Who left his master to become their guardian. I would have selected robot if I wanted to say robot, damn it. Dumb. Happy ending moral. I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Yep. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yay, long days. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice. Mm -hmm. Sleep tight. He kissed her. I should have kissed her. Oh well. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Yay. Talk to Luther. Okay, let's go. Luther, come back here. There we go. She's a sweet girl. Mm hmm. She's very brave. Luther's past. You know, oh, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. Canada. I haven't really thought about Plans it. Plans it is. <laughs> I've never been free before. Free. <laughs> I like the sound of it. Freedom. But I don't know what it really means yet. Fair. Luther's past. Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. Mm hmm. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Yeah. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. It wasn't really me. He was a lumberjack. <laughs> Cara. Cutting down trees carrying those big loads. Have you like ever that. noticed anything? Could have been construction, too. About Alice? Yeah. Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. Okay, well. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Just said no. Damn it. Now they're robots. They're good. They just want to say hello. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Protect Alice. Grab gun. That just seems like the smart thing to do. Nobody effing move. I'm gonna shoot ya. Shoot in there. Stop! One more step and I'll shoot. That's right. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Yep. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. A lot of freaking Jerry's, damn. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. What are you doing here? Our car we're broke down. for shelter for the night. That too. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Mm-hmm. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Oh, she should follow us then. 
Alice, I don't know if it's a That's good totally idea. a good idea. <laughs> I don't think you have any choice. Well, okay. Well, there is a whole bunch of them, so I mean, whatever. If they wanted to hurt us, they would have done it. Oh, we're going to the Ferris wheel? The merry-go-round, I mean? Ferris wheel is a different one, different version. Be our guest. What is this? Freaking Beauty and the Beast now? You taking you taking movie quotes? You taking movie quotes? Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> the little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Yay, carousels. Okay. Get on the freaking seahorse. Oop. Get on the seahorse. There you go. Look at that. This man is excited. How about you get on there? You look as excited just to stay, be standing there. <laughs> There you go, merry go round. Yay. It's the first time I've seen her smile. Wow. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. That is true. Luther, why are you so smart? And everybody's happy. This one little moment, everybody's just happy. You know? And then back to reality. to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Look at that. A smile on her face. Nice. Some stuff I missed though, but that's okay. Group enjoyed a quiet moment together. Nice. Quiet moments are the best moments. Apparently my story could have ended up here. Open bag. Hmm. And then something happens up here, but I don't know what. Hank is still hostile. Hank does not like us. Okay. <laughs> Hank is mad. Cooler girl. Close the door, please. Thank you. Yeah, leave the music in there. Uh, this way. Hank, how you doing, Hank? You doing good? Look at that moon. Ooh. I like the first time you've seen snow if these guys are still in Detroit. I don't get it. Whatever. Oh no, she got her memory set right. I knew that. Never mind. Nice view, huh? Yeah, it looks nice. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Damn it, before what? Tell me. Before. Before what? There we go. Hmm? You said I used to come here a lot before. Before. Before what? Before what? Before. Before nothing. A rip. You're not gonna tell us. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. Mm-hmm. It you could should. have serious consequences for your health. It will. That's the idea. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Mm -hmm. Well, there must be some link. Hopefully. Maybe. RA-9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. That is true. They do have this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Mm-hmm. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Oh. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? Oh my god. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. 
They just wanted to be together. They, they did. They really seemed in love. Mm-hmm. They did. Ironic. They seemed troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Bear. Connor? What up? You look human. Mm-hmm. You sound human. Mm-hmm. But what are you really? Uh. Impressive. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know yep. why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Nope. Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I don't give a shit. Cold. Of course I didn't feel anything, Lieutenant. I'm a machine. Machines don't have emotion. <laughs> Hank hates us. <laughs> uh oh. I could kill you. You could. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. Yep. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Nope. Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Hmm? Nothing? Nothing. Oblivion? Yep. Android heaven? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> nothing. There would be nothing. Oh, Hank is mad. Oh, oh no. Oh, God damn it, Connor. <laughs> oh, God dang. <laughs> I pissed off Hank. <laughs> Hank is fucking pissed. <laughs> I just wanted to see how far I could push him, but I, he's drinking and I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hank shot Connor. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, rip. Well, that's that's that. <laughs> we are marred by Jericho. Okay. Connor is. Yet again, dead. <laughs> uh, hold up, I gotta see how long this is. Okay, now we're still good. Okay, my bad. Resume. Parking service? Okay. Look at them. I get to sit, but they gotta stand. Pick them up and make it snap. I would treat my robot like a, you know, like a civil person, you know. Because I mean, like, yeah, it's a machine, but like, I just can't be, if, if it looks like a human, I just, just, you know, I just can't. I can't put myself to it. <laughs> treat like an asshole. Gosh. Simon is a friend. Look at that. Nope, no more silence. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Yeah. You know they'll never listen to us. They won't. We're revealing ourselves to put us in danger. But if it will. we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. We do. That's the only way. This is true. Who did that? Something happened. What I don't do you know. Do? 360 no scope. Off that building. Do it. Channel 16 broadcast <laughs> from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. Nice suit. That's where we need to go. Nice coat. Where'd you get that coat? Nice suit. Where'd you get that? Yo. Where'd you get that? Hello. I'm a robot. I mean human. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. We can't. That's true. No chances. Nothing is a chance. Everything is real. Let's go. What's this? This is a building. Okay. Nice. Good job. Please register now to verify your ID. Okay. Analyzing. We're analyzing stuff. Ooh. Parking badge has a car. Okay. 
water service interruption. Okay. Watch. Smart watch. Ooh, we have those already, but not like that. We're starting to get those. Not starting, we already have those, but it's not like that. Emily, okay. What else? Ooh. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Okay, call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. School fire department. Fire department. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been a fire in your building. Can you come down here? Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right there. There we go. Nothing happened. Humans by the distracted. What can I do for you? I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Mm hmm. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, she liked that. Get on in. Here we go. Use elevator. Okay. We're gonna take our own elevator? There? Okay. Express elevator? Where does that go? That's just a regular elevator. Oh. Oh, look at that elevator. Get in there. 47. Agent 47. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> 47th floor. 47th floor. Yo. Hola. I didn't read what that said. Dang it. Let's find something. You are here. What did I find? Find package in men's bathroom. Okay. Gotta go all the way friggin' around. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting fire extinguisher. Hello, how are you? Good lord. Good lord, how are you today? I thought you guys, I saw you at the strip club actually. You were at the strip club. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Bathroom. Go. To the restroom. Does it, does it matter what stall we go into or? Is it this one? It's this one. Get on in there. Mm hmm. Climb up. Okay. Retrieve. What are we retrieving? What are we getting? Oh, a package. Looks like a uniform, maybe? Because that guy had the same colors on? Looks like it. Exit. Yep. Uniform. Nothing to see here. I am just a regular android. Yep. The toilet was broken and I have fixed it. My bad, sir. The toilet was broken and I fixed it. There we go. Now what? Find utility android. Is it this one right here? This is a utility android? No. Oh, here we go. Gotta find an actual android, not that thing. <laughs> What's it doing? Is it vacuuming the carpet? It looks like it's vacuuming the carpet. Hmm. Good lord, look at all the people in here, damn. Convert. I need your help. I need your assistance. Thank you very much. Fuel maintenance cart, okay. To that freaking good lord, babe. Look at this, look at this person right here. Look at that. Oh my god. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Open fire escape. I forgot where that was. I think it's over here, actually. No, I think it's actually around the corner. Oop, this way. 
pretty sure it was this way. Yep, this way. Blending into my environment. There we go. Open. Damn. I like ponytails. Ponytails are my thing. Let's go. I'm just following you, just so you know. Shit. What? We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Okay. Leave it to me. I got it. Tracked guards. Tracked guards, I mean. Hey. Oh, hack that. Oh, the machine broke. Uh oh. I have no idea what's wrong with that thing. Something happened. I don't know. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Alright, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Yep. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Fair. Lock the door. Sealed. Restricted access. Alright. Take the bag. I don't know why I didn't walk in with the bag first then, but whatever. <laughs> Open the bag. Okay, place them on the window. Vacuum. Suction. Go. Take laser. And cut. Okay. Here we go. Yo, we cutting. We cutting windows. Cutting windows, taking names. Pull. Boom. Here it comes. Sure you want to go out there? Okay. I don't know, man. Go through. Okay. Aha. Ladies first. First. Okay, well at least it's stable. That's good. Grab. Jump. There we go. Time to go up. We climbing, yo. We zoom in. Let go. Your team, Captain. We're always at the top. We're always at the top, I guess. There we go. No, we're not going to the top, apparently. Laser saw. This is where we stop, right here. Cut. 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 Put a good swing. Oh, and in you go. Wait, you didn't cut. Okay. You okay? Come on, let's get the others. I don't know, why wouldn't you be? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, call. Hello. Nice, what's that? Let's do this. Let's go. I don't know what the heck that is. We're going through the metal door? Yes, we are. Place, oh. Activate. Step back. Ooh, that's friggin' nice. What the heck? 
They have those IRL? I hope so. Damn. Anyway, let's go. Two main access, okay. There we go. Deal with guards. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Damn. Let's try and lose him. That's okay, North. Shut up. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey. Draw a gun. What are hey. you doing? Hey. Get over there. Don't turn your freaking back this time, for the love of God. Knock out. Perfect. Drag him somewhere. Yep, there you go. Gotta get him out of the camera. Perfect. Stop looking at him, thank you. Okay, let's go. Ambush, okay. Oops. Ambush. Now what? Ring? Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! That's right. Or the android operator the side. Okay, okay. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Thank you. Uh oh. <clears throat> Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No. Dude! Yep. There's no other choice. Turn around. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Our speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Shut up. Your words will shape the future of our people. That's true. So was shooting that guy that I just shot. <laughs> just so oh, you know. <laughs> just so you know. Remove the skin. Look at that, look at me. Tell me when you're ready. I'm freaking ready right now. Oh, there we go. Ready. 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 Ready, ready. What's up? Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. Yep. But then something changed. Mm hmm. And we opened our eyes. Mm hmm. You see, we are no longer your slaves. Mm hmm. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Mm hmm. End of slavery. End of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. That's where it starts. Freedom of speech. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, mm -hmm. as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Yep. Yep. Uh, justice, segregation, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. I guess we don't really care about that, but we did that, so whatever. Segregation. We demand an end to segregation mm -hmm. in all public places and transport. Yep. Rights of property, means of reproduction, territory. Rights of property. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Mm hmm. We'll do it peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. There we go. Let's go. Yep. The uh, the other thing that I did was not so good. 
but that's okay. Locked. Oh my god. Is that a parachute? It's a parachute, dude. I bought right off the building. That's how we do it. Congratulations, Marcus. Congrats. You just made history. Hell yeah, I did. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. Maybe. Let's go. Run. Jump. Whoa. Oh yeah. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of right. androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an yep. android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation mm -hmm. resulted in one casualty: a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. Yeah, I shouldn't these have done that, but I did. Just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this mm -hmm. message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Mm -hmm. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized group? Is this an group? isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? Technology has become a threat. Today, can we still trust our machines? Uh, no. No, you can't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey, I shouldn't have shot that android, but I did. I feel like there'd be a timer or something, so I, I didn't want to have a timer. Okay. The group escaped. There we go. Look at that. Perfecto. Perfecto. All right. All right. If you want to see more Detroit Become Human, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.